What's up everyone, Max here, Master World. I'm here today with a bit of a rant, stroke, advice. This is an observation really that I've had in the gym. You've probably all seen it. Guys, they walk into the gym and then they go straight over to the cable crossovers and then they do a bit of this and then they do a bit of this and a bit of this and a bit of this and then a bit of this and a bit of that and some of that. And, and then they're on there for like 45 minutes to an hour just hogging the same piece of equipment. Half the time, none of them are even in shape. I, I've noticed this mainly whenever I put the cable crossovers into my program and I notice that I can very rarely get on it because this guy's jumping on there and they're running in there, spending the entire workout on a one piece of equipment, and running in, they're doing this, they're doing this, a bit of this, a bit of that, and then they're not even really in shape. I look at them, I think their training could be so much better. They're, they're wasting their time, they're wasting other people's time because they're waiting for it. And I think if some people just looked at their actual training program, realized that they focused and spent more time on weight training exercise, bench press, squats, deadlifts, shoulder presses, bent over rows. You, you, I never see these guys actually doing any of those exercises. You might say to me, Max, well, Max, you're assuming their goals, you're assuming them, and that's maybe that's what all they want to do. Either they're doing bodybuilding exercises to build up their arms and their, their, tri their triceps and their chest but then you can't see it because they're normally in that bad shape they got a big gut hanging over there and I don't mean to be judgmental or anything but I'm assuming based on that type of exercise they're trying to build those muscles you can't actually see those muscles they're either too small or they're covered in fat it doesn't make sense so all I want to say guys is if that's your program you're not getting the results I've never seen any of these people actually get results the people I'm referring to anyway um, honestly, if you're happy doing that, whatever, okay, that's fine. But here's just a bit of advice. If you are looking to get yourself in shape, follow a decent program, focus on exercises, combined exercises, progressive overload, but also as well, if you're overweight and you're trying to lose that weight, you need to start doing some more cardiovascular exercises, moderate intensity cardiovascular exercises, as well as your weight training, and also look at your diet and go into calorie deficit. Back when I first started training, I don't even think we had cable crossover in our first gym. I'm pretty sure we used to go to the gym and it was just bench presses, rows, pull-ups, things like that, for upper body at least anyway. And, and what I used to do was I used to look at, you know, the big, we didn't have YouTube then, I used to look around at the bigger guys or the stronger guys and I used to think, well, what are they doing? And then I would kind of try and work out if what they were doing was suitable for whatever I wanted to achieve. And then if that was the case, then I would imitate what they were doing. Just strange now, there's a lot of guys that just seem to spend so much time on a cable crossovers when it's really unnecessary. Don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against the cable crossovers. I think they are good and suitable, but they're more better for like accessory exercises. So if you were gonna do your chest, you do your bench presses, incline dumbbell presses, things like that, build up the chest muscle. Then if you really wanted to isolate that muscle, then you could do a cable fly on it. But you'll notice then you, the focus is on the compound exercises, the big exercises and progressive overload. And then you get a bit of a pump then on the cable crossovers with a high repetition, but also you still got to focus on good form, coming in, squeezing, going out into the stretch, squeezing, slowly load it into the stretch and squeezing again. That's where the focus is. A lot of people, they're not concentrating. They're just winging around like that and giving it all this and doing a million exercises. And uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to do this video for because it's just something that I've observed in the gym. Probably going to come across like complete judgmental arse. Try my best. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't read my book, check the link in the description. If you have read it, let me know what you think about it. I love hearing from you. All the best and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.